What's up, everybody? My name is Erin, and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio, and welcome back to another episode of The Dark Side Detective. We are on case number five now, Lock Mess. Case summary. Dooley and his blood wolves are attending a jamboree, but the kids rang me in a panic saying something fishy was going on. Well, here I am. Camp, what am I doing here? <laughs> Whatever those kids were calling about, I don't see why Dooley couldn't take care of it. A poorly painted sign says, Jamboree inside. First here? That's odd, but I'm sure the rest will be along soon. Just settle in and don't think about it ever again. That's odd. That's actually exactly the kind of sign I'd expect here campsite. This is what happens when you let the people vote on a name. The other choices were cabin in the wood knot, tent pegging, and the place where you'll die, so not hard to see how it went out. It's been years since I came here. Memories, eh? I guess that's the closest thing there is to a nightclub for flies. The scrawl reads, park your automobiles here, then throw the keys away. You won't need them with the fun we will have at the Jamboree. No other motives, honest. Oh, the rope snapped. I guess I have a sign now. Oh, we're just gonna take it. Wooden plank. One of those odd Jamboree signs. An information booth. Oh, what kind of voice do I want to do for this? I don't know how recurring uh, Jamie is going to be here. <laughs> Actually, the I is for interloper. Pull out my Ryota voice. I often ask myself, Jamie, do you think people will see this I and understand that you offer reasons why they are unwelcome in this terrible place? I think it's pretty clear. This one says, talk to a Twin Lakes native. Jamie, they said. Nobody's going to want to come all this way out here to talk to you, but here you are. Yeah, I'm here for other reasons. Oh. Hi there. Welcome to Lake Monster. G get out while you can. What? Why? Why? Because of the Lake Monster, of course. It's our number one attraction. Avoid it at all costs. What are you doing here? Every day I ask myself that self-same question. Jamie, you could have followed your dream, I say. You could have been a chef. But then I remind myself that I cannot taste flavors, and I think I made the right choice. I, um, what are you doing here? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Me and my flights of fancy. I work at the tourism board, and this is the tourism board. We, it and I, Tell people what are wonderful things to see and do in Twin Lakes. And what to avoid, like this lake and the rest of the city. Tell me about the camp. Campsite got its named as it was the site of a terrible massacre. It's also the site where those angry, angry spirits were laid to rest. Unconnected is also the site where terrible tragedies happen each year. So why did you build a camp there? This is where kids go on vacation and do fun blood wolf activities. It fills my heart with joy to see them play, and with fear, because everything here is so awful. Tell me more about this monster. Oh, huge big fangs it has, or tendrils, maybe even a big sucker thing? And the wings, oh, if you saw them, they'd probably be wings. They may be fins though, hard to tell at a distance. It stands well over a certain height tall and weighs an amount. You can be sure of that. So it has mass. Great. Have you ever seen it? With my own eyes. Sorry, that was meant to be a question. With my own eyes? No, no, I'm not. Has anyone ever seen it? And lived to tell of it? No. How many people is it rumored to have taken? 
Rumored, many. Proven, none. Right. Fiend it is. But a wondrous attraction for the region. Each day I'm torn between Jamie, people need the beast, it brings so much business, and Jamie the monster, it kills people. Probably. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Run and don't look back. Seriously, how did you get this job? I'm married into a powerful tourism family. So... Can I just go? Oh, oh yeah, Devin, okay. <clears throat> You're here. Devin, you rang? That Alpha Dooley has gone missing. <laughs> missing? Tell me what happened. We don't know. He was here last night, then this morning, gone. His buck wasn't even slept in. Aliens must have taken him. Mauled by a bear, I bet. Let's not jump to conclusions, okay? When was the last time you saw him? We had nighttime hot chocolate. Then he went to the office to, I don't know, do office -y things? I guess we start there then. We? I don't do entire cases solo, just convenient sections. Come on, we've got us a dually to find. Alright, I got a squad. I'm no balloonologist, but I'm pretty sure these shouldn't be slimy. <laughs> what? <sighs> you need to find Dooley. This place is too tense without him to lighten the mood. Oh. Ah, <laughs> good one, McQueen. Get it? Too tense? Too tense? Eh? Eh? You know what improves a joke? Explaining it. Nice campfire. Did you guys build it yourselves? Emily built it all by herself. I didn't build it. I just freed the flame. It's how I get my Fire Whisperer badge. Fire Whisperer badge? Blood wolves have a lot of very much not scout badges. Best not to ask. Hello? Hello. Hello, this is Jack Turner, Devin's father. I just want to check in that the boy is doing okay and not struck too wide-eyed by all that nature, I hope. He's, uh, fine? Sorry for calling up. Jack is a warrior. Are you on the other line, Barbara? I'm just making a little call, Barbara. Just checking on the lad, eh, Barbara? He'll be fine, Jack. There's no need to keep calling. Just leave him and have a good time. Yes, well, no such thing as an overprotective parent now, is there? Paper can be damp because of leaks, extreme humidity, being in a jingle, or getting scared and wetting itself. Stop trying to burn that flyer, Emily! Stupid damp paper. One of these is wet and reads, Very real jamboree on this weekend. Dooley's pack should come. They are the best pack and will win the jamboree, which is real. Something smells fishy. It's this flyer. It stinks of fish. Oh, literally. <laughs> That's odd. The office dorms. Well, we need to go into the office first. Ain't no Dooley here. We got Dooley that as a gift. After Emily smashed the room's light. It had it coming. I want to be leaves. 
Oh, the puns. Top tier, top notch puns in this game. I keep telling Dooley to stop buying knockoff posters. It's on and Dooley's logged in. I'm not proud of this, but maybe I can find some clues. The childhood photo, is that me? Those were good times. Don't worry, buddy. I'll find you. There's a file in here called password. Let's see. Dooley's password is password. That's as secure as it is surprising. This machine is pretty much empty. This looks interesting. Greetings, fellow Blood Wolf. You and your pack, I guess, are invited to the 100% legitimate jamboree at campsite this weekend. You have to come. You must. Nigel, fellow Blood Wolf, no need to look it up. Something tells me I'm gonna have to look it up. Seems he was hanging out on his duluminati.com forum. There's an open thread. Dear Duluminati, the government are trying to use my brainwaves to hunt me down so that they can pester me into film work. How can I protect myself? There's this guy that keeps bumping his post and pinging Dooley. All of his posts are signed Nigel, fellow human, for realsies. Are we gonna meet an alien? Because we saw that UFO poster behind the desk. A little bit, a little bit of foreshadowing. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I'm starting to see a pattern here, but who is Nigel? An empty folder. Oh. I was wondering if I could drag it and drop it. Okay. It has a sticker saying, The truth is around here somewhere. I'm guessing this belongs to Dooley. Gonna meet an alien! This... This is an odd thing for a holiday camp to have. This is Betty. It's like Seri, but better. Hello, Armelia, Devon, Emily, Detective. Why is it talking and how does it know my name? We did say it was better than Seri. How can I help you today? Uh, what can you tell me about where Dooley went? Nothing. If Mr. Dooley wanted you to know his secrets, he'd have given you the password. Ugh, fine. A 2.4 gigahertz ultra high frequency radio signal. Essentially the internet, but why? Stop trying to cyber patronize me, machine. All you had to say was fancy internet. Yep. Yeah. What was the signal Dooley found? Dooley found the signal? Where did it lead him? Across the lake, to the signal source. Which was... I'm afraid I don't know. I didn't go. I have no legs. <sighs> yeah, you would be friends with Dooley. What about you? How are you talking? I'm Betty. I monitor, gather, and collate signals in the search for extraterrestrial life. Yeah, like Seti, I get it. Uh, Seti is a moron. I speak 13 languages. I'm a chess master and figured out the meaning of life. The meaning of life? Yes, but Dooley deleted that to make more room for his TV shows. Of course he would. I need that info. If you won't tell me, I'll have to commandeer it. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. Ahem, <laughs> detective. This game is not only ripe with puns, it's got references for days. Said it before, I will say it again. This is my perfect game. 
Devon! Never say, mister. Time to put my uppity AI badge to use. What? Wait, why do you even have a badge like that? Not wolf secret, sorry. And you don't have to needs to know in case of a needs to know basis badge. Just do whatever you're going to do. Okay. You search the map for places the signal bounced through. I'll lock them in, and once we find enough of them, we should be able to have the root blood alpha duly took. Um. So I, I just connected dots. Looks like a map of the lake. To what? To where? To Dilly? Not sure. Let's print it out and see where it leads us. Got a map. A printout of the lake with the route Dooley took. All right, see you later, Betty. Ugh. Hello? Hello, me again. Just wanted to make sure you were aware that Devon is allergic to technology, bitten by toaster buns. He has left his EMP device at home. I wouldn't sleep a wink thinking of him out there in that tech filed wilderness without knowing what your EMP is up and running. In fact, maybe you'd send me the make and model number. Hello? Hello? Barbara? I think the line has gone dead. I'm not get paid for this. The Blood Wolves of America doesn't exist. Don't ask questions. Go on about your lives. Not the most welcoming poster. You gotta want the wolf. We don't have time for blow-ins. A box of dress-up props. Let's dig out some bits and bobs. Oh, we got just props. <laughs> Are we gonna be a Sasquatch? A bundle of various costume parts in the kid sizes. The top one was mine. Dooley was below me. Yes, I have Dooley's old bunk. There's a pack of marshmallows called Uncle Gloopy's Squidgy Delights here. Charming. Hey, my secret stash! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Anything... Anywhere else? Okay. You guys got anything to say? One of these banks is full of money. What? I had my Monopoly earnings in it. Is this the boy or the girl dorm? There are no genders in the Blood Wolves. It started as a cost-cutting scheme, but ended up being strangely progressive. <laughs> These bunks are all mine, but I let my pack sleep in them. A lone wolf is a weak wolf. Hey, Agnes. What? Have you seen Dooley around? I saw Sims yesterday. Chased him away from my stew. Would have ruined it. He was on flavors. Not many people here. And? What am I? The people police? 
Sometimes they's here, sometimes they ain't. But you're here. Oh, sorry. I didn't know yous was the people police. Uh... I'm a dark side detective, thank you very much. I thought's not. <laughs> Why do you work out here? Working with kids suits is my sunny disposition. It's lovely. Goodbye. What's ever? Stu, don't ask for specifics. When I was last here, this was full of plastic fish. That's, prog that's progress for you. Metal cups, a can of Colonel Mustard's poison custard, and a box of Rataway right radiation removal powder. This place has it all. Uh, is that all we can get from here? A dorm room reminds me of summer camp out here as a kid. There's nothing in here. The window covers the wall. I forgot to build the room, but I already had the window ordered, so... You know... Are you here to see it, too? See what, too? We've been waiting ages and ages for it to show. We're standing. We're starting to get bored of waiting. But we're not going home without seeing a monster. Well, good luck with that. Guess who's gonna get dressed up? Uh, why are you so eager to see a monster? We're 100% of Twin Lakes' Cryptozoology Club. We're always on the hunt for lake monsters, sewer gators, krakens, and around winter. Eddies. People don't know this, but there's a lot of strange things happening in Twin Lakes. Yes, so much so that they had to hire an entire section of the police force to deal with it. Believe you me, I know. <sighs> Sorry, guy, but the cops don't know anything about what really goes on here. Yeah, go back to getting kittens out of trees and leave the real detectiving to us. Those voices were choices. <laughs> oh, it rhymes and I want to stitch it on a cross stitch now. Those voices were choices. <laughs> I'll think about it. Uh, do you have something better to be doing or do you not have something better to be doing? Not a thing. Goodbye. See you soon. Unless the monster gets you. An old gas can. It's empty because I emptied it. Let me guess to start a fire. No, I poured it on Devin's bed so everyone would think he peed himself. Emily! What? I gotta make sure the other packs don't want to poach him from us. Oh, poor baby boy Devin's just sleeping in a puddle of gasoline. We've got enough food to wait this beast out for days. All kept nice and fresh in tin foil. Alright, something tells me when one of you's uh you've got to get changed. The props are kid size, but I'm not sure what to get them to dress up as. A Yeti? More bugs. Flies really need a better hobby. It's summer right now and I hate flies. They're everywhere. Sticky cubes of solidified sugar. A big hit with the kids. It's empty. They didn't refill it after the tents incident. This place is in the pocket of the powerful tent lobby.
This place is lying to the outside world. That's what we telephone. Teflon. Devin. Okay. That's what we Teflon called you on to take. I'm having a hard time processing that. That's what we Teflon called you on, detective. Feels like there was a joke in there, but I did not get it. If I tried that in the academy, they'd have kicked me out. Well, what am I supposed to do? Can I give it to, to Agnes? There was something there was something slimy on these these balloons. I don't know if that means anything. I need something to put them in first. Okay, so we do have to roast the marshmallows. Okay, it's just the and again. Wooden plank. Uh the marshmallows are sticky, but they need to be in paste form for that to work. I'm looking for a friend. <laughs> I'm uh, flattered. I think you, you're a nice guy, but my social calendar is full. I meant a friend of mine has gone missing. <laughs> of course, sure, I knew that. What do they look like? Um, he's similar to me, but about 20% more pixels. <laughs> no, sorry, the monster probably got him. Run before it gets you too. <sighs> Jamie. They all laugh when I tell them. Oh, Jamie, they say, you and your monster. And then bam, it takes one of them, drags them off to its mountainy, watery, maybe even cavernous lair. Does this happen often? It might do. It's crafty, covers up its tracks. By never being seen or heard or doing anything at all, really. Devious. Okay, so I have this empty gas can and I siphoned gas out of my own vehicle. Yeah, didn't mean to click on it. I just meant to, I meant to drag it. Great. Now you just lift up the car and pour the stuff out. No? Then I'm going to need another way to fill this can. Oh, okay. So maybe we, we do need some sort of hose apparatus. I'm tubing for cleaning out the tank. I think I could get away with taking a small length. Okay. Oh, okay. So I've, I was expecting we'd have to go get scissors. Uh, but let's head back outside and back to our car. And combine these. Oh, we got a siphoning kit. And here we go. Stand back. It's time for me to summon up some fire juice. Good work, I guess. Now hand it over. What? Give me the gas can. Ugh. Emily? I should have known you were on their side. All right, we got a full gas can and we put it in the boat. Splish, splash, sploosh. That's it filled up. Now to fix that hole. Hmm, that didn't achieve much. The marshmallows are sticky, but they need to be in paste form for that to work. Okay, all right, let's see what else we can find. Pots, they look brand new. Don't sneeze in those pots to microwave a meal. Can I take one then? Whatever, I don't need them. All right, we got a pot. The bag was too sticky, so I'll store them in here for now. Okay, so we got a pot of marshmallows. Put it on our campfire here. Let's melt these mellows, mallows down, gang. 
Melt them to the ground. Okay, we got melty marshmallow gloop. Is it sticky enough for the wooden plank now? Well, the plank is sticky now. Go team. Fix the boat. That's the hole fixed. I guess now that it's working, I best head out and check the lake. We best head out, mister. Too dangerous, kids. Tell you what. You keep an eye out here in case Dooley comes back and I miss him. But danger is my middle name. No, it's not. They just write danger on all your paperwork. Oh. We have to go, mister. We have to. It's against my better judgment, but then most things I do are, so in you get. Oh, we're so fast. Hello, reporter. Hey, I recognize you. Dick Brickman here, reporting from here, the place I am to you, wherever you are, for the Twin Lake News with me, Dick Brickman. Uh, what are you doing here? I, Dick Brickman, am here to report the news and news of the day that is there is a monster living in this lake. That's not really breaking news, is it? People have been talking about the supposed monster for age. An, an age. <laughs> breaking news, police admit to knowing about the monster for, and I quote, an age. How did you get here? I don't see a boat. You can't keep the press out, and I, Dick Brickman, am the press. Uh, what's the scoop on the monster? We're here, live, at the scene where the investigation has taken us thus far. What will we see? Is this where the monster lives? Will we finally get a signed photo of the creature? Tune in as I, Dick Brickman of the Twin Lake News, have absolutely anything to share. You know there's no audience here, right? <laughs> no need to talk like you're mid-broadcast. Breaking news, detective, you're here. An audience of four. An audience of four or four million. The news has to be heard. All right, goodbye. And don't forget to tune in to the Twin Lake News with me, Dick Brickman, for the thrilling conclusion of this week's Dick Brickman Investigates, featuring me, Dick Brickman. Where I, Dick Brickman, will follow any lead on the creature, any lead at all. Okay, so I was thinking we would need to put on this disguise for uh, the fellows on the dock, but maybe we need to put a disguise for him. Hands off the camera, we're rolling. Okay, so we need to... I feel like we need to take that camera. It's a Polaroid camera. An unmanned Polaroid camera. Doesn't matter, Dick Brickman will get his man or monster on tape. And you can rest assured that I am not going anywhere until I do, unless I had a reason to believe the monster was hiding somewhere else. Yeah, so we're going to take his camera. I think we're lost. Pretty creepy place. I bet there are monsters in that forest. Well, let's hope not. I've burned many unwanted gifts in these woods. Can't you orienteer us through these woods? That's a scout thing. Instead, we learn how to block ourselves from the all-seeing eye of GPS satellites. What? I don't like dark things. Like the dark in the night, Tim. Do you mean nighttime? I don't like nighttime, but only because that's when Night Tim comes to whisper in my ear about the crushing realities of adulthood. Great. <laughs> Nothing in here, no surrey. I guess we should keep looking then. You really are a dually student. There seems to be a cave behind that obviously fake cover. Let's go. Um, you guys, you guys should guard out here. Okay, I'm a mess of anyone who comes near. Oh. <laughs> Okay, what do we- how do we make the monster's voice? Is the narc still out there? He's getting so close. I'll have a look- oh, hey detective. Dooley! What's going on here? Huh? Oh, this is Nigel. 
I already immediately forgot what voice I gave him. Um, hi. He's a fellow truthy, inviting me here to help with the problem. Right. Are you done? Can we go? No, and, uh, no. I need Dooley's help. Dooluminati.com, and he are uh, famous in truthy circles, you know? What's the problem? The government wants me because I'm a monster. A talking monster. Frankly, I'm surprised you haven't noticed. Sure. Anyway, I need protection. Like a gun? Pfft. Look at this guy. Let's solve everything by shooting it. I don't even own a gun. Stop talking about guns. I'm sensitive about my lack of fingers. We need to chase off that narc outside. They're closing in on Nigel and fast. Narc? You mean the reporter? Clearly, a government spy. No, we get rid of him. And once he's gone, what you need, Nigel, is a mud hat. That'll keep them off your trail. A mud hat? A protective layer of some kind of metal. Maybe aluminum? Do you mean a tinfoil hat? That sounds perfect. Um, huh? I lost some dialogue there. I clicked too fast. I apologize. So, a monster. A talking monster, but I don't like to talk about it. We're all God's creatures, I guess. Is that right? We don't have much religious stuff under the sea. I've just read the books I st I borrowed from the campsite. I'm not sure. What are you doing in Twin Lakes? It has good dental plans. But you don't have teeth. But if I did, this would be the place to be. Kidnapping, eh? I think that's an unfair way to describe luring somebody to a place under false pretense. Trapping them in a cavernous lair and refusing to let them leave. Why do you think the government are after you? Hollywood. I'd be cheaper than CGI and monster movies are all the rage these days. But I'm not interested in a life of fame. I'd prefer to work in makeup and help the real stars shine. Goodbye. <laughs> Chat later. Are you okay, Dooley? Yep. It's quite nice here. Since I can't leave, maybe you could help protect Nigel from the narc? Uh... Just get rid of that guy outside and then get the mind hat to keep him from finding him again. Dooley, the guy outside is a journalist from TV. Perfect cover. Oh boy, those government types are crafty. Best convince them that Nigel is hiding out somewhere else. Get them off his tail. It's open on the same forum page as Dooley's machine was, and the keys are damp, very damp. Sticky tape, a staple in every adventurer's toolkit. Cool, did not know we needed that, but glad we got it. It's full of fake jamboree flyers in various stages of readiness. His lack of hands explain the childlike nature on the posters. But nothing explains how he got a crafts table and a computer in here. Oh, okay, I didn't know if we could have um, the different items. Hey. Do you like that? It's my human disguise. That's how I got into camp and convinced Dooley into coming with me. I was certain he was another blood alpha. Very believable. Someday, I hope to work in film makeup department. I think I have a knack for it. It's full of seafood takeaway wrappers. Don't judge me. All right, we're gonna exit the lair. <laughs> okay, gang, the good news is that Dooley is inside and is safe. The bad news is that he can't come out just yet. Why not? He, uh, there's, um, it's a blood alpha test. It's for your don't ask questions badge. Yes, I've been waiting for that one for ages. Let's do this. Hi. 
I could get these guys to dress up as a monster, but I need to find somewhere nobody will see. Otherwise, the disguise will be spoiled. I wonder what secrets this forest hides. Not that I have any real urge to find out. Let's see what kind of outfit we can make out of all this. Three kids in a trench coat. Bigfoot. Utterly convincing. I tried that in the academy. They'd have kicked me out. Okay, I don't know. Do I need to just go alert the reporter? We can't walk in this. Can we take it off? I guess. Julie's Narc. Dick Brickman here, reporting from here, the place I am to you, wherever you are, for the Twin Lake News with me, Dick Brickman. Uh, goodbye. Don't forget to tune in to the Twin Lake News with me, Dick Brickman, for the thrilling conclusion of this week's Dick Brickman Investigates, featuring me, Dick Brickman. Okay, I'm done talking to you, Dick Brickman. Okay, gang, back in the Bigfoot outfit. I use the ink to make footprints. Mm, that didn't achieve much. Ah, uh, okay. I wonder if this guy has his Ask the Real Questions badge. I'm going to regret this, but what are the real questions? Which computer has Elvis been uploaded to? Who funded Columbus's fake discovery of America? Where? Sorry, the fake discovery of America? Yeah, Dooley says there's no actual proof America exists. That right now we're actually in a secret country in the middle of the Alps. That's impressive, even for Dooley. Okay, I'm not sure what extent, because we have the Bigfoot costume, but we can't leave the area because then they're like, oh, we can't walk in this. We need to take it off, which is why I was, I don't know. I just thought we needed the tape there, but obviously not. So what we need to do, maybe, uh, is just start combining all of our items. <laughs> See what happens. Oh, OK. A few well-placed swirls and. Oh, a faked sighting. Goodness me. Oh my, breaking news. The monster has been sighted elsewhere. This is me, Dick Brickman, signing off so I can sign back on another day from another bay. He left his camera. I guess I should bring it back to Lost and Found. Or we can take it uh, to take a picture. Okay, gang, back in the Bigfoot outfit. Say whatever Bigfoot say when they're having their picture taken. Wait, should that be Big Feet? Big Feets? Yeah, photographic evidence. All right, let's go back to these uh, fellas on the other side of the lake. I found a photo you two may be interested in. Some proof, finally! We knew he was real. Wait until we show the gang. Okay, now we can take his cooler. He seemed to have left their cooler. Food and tin foil. I'll have some of that. Okay, let's do this. should do it. Now I just need to tape this here, fold that there, and voila, a tinfoil hat. I'd better take this back to the cave and give it to Nigel. A tinfoil hat, cool. Oh, cool, we didn't have to even walk back, we're just here. Is the Nart gone? Yep, he's gone. Okay, give him the hat. Here you go. It's a thing of beauty. Now what? Is the narc distracted and Nigel untraceable? It's time for him to find a new life, free from the watchful eye of the man. Can we stay in touch? Of 
course, just email me from hard to trace locations like phone booths, coffee shops, and the Mariana Trench. Okay then, thanks again, Dooley. Uh. Poor guy, I hope he shakes off those government narcs. Dooley, we're government narcs. Speak for yourself. I don't tell the men nothing. Uh. It's good to have you back, Dooley. Oh no, we're out of gas. The petrol. Looks like you're staying here with us. S'mores all around. Who's the bloodiest wolves around? Who keeps their sniffers to the ground? We do. We do. Uh. Case closed. <laughs> And we are on to our last case, Dawn of the Dead. But thank you so much for joining me for this episode of The Dark Side Detective. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye!